Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Phoebe and today we're doing a fairy loot unboxing video. So I have done some fairy loot unboxing videos before on this channel. I think I have two and uh, I'll put like a link in the description to them or a tab like up here somewhere. If you want to go check them out, you can do that. Um, for this month, I, I've lost count again uh, because obviously COVID-19, everything that's happening, I think their deliveries are still delayed. So I honestly can't remember what month this is for. <laughs> so let's just get right into it. So first up we have a, another beautiful spoiler card here. It's just, oh, so pretty. I forgot what month it was then. Oh my God, lockdown is just like completely messing with my like time. Um, so this is for April. I did think we were missing one. Um, the April 2020 box and the theme is memories. So who knows where this is gonna go. All right, next up, all this purple mulch. <gasps> is this gonna be another pillowcase? <gasps> okay. Oh no, <gasps> yes, okay, even better. It's a tote. Okay, literally the most like worst possible time this could have happened, but my SD card was full and you missed my reaction for me discovering what type of tote bag this was. <laughs> um, but I did screech very loudly, so maybe it's uh, for the best. But this is a Sarah J Mass themed tote bag, and it's just probably the nicest tote bag I've seen anyway. Like these like lovely, just simple handles, and then this faded green color, and it's got a court, oh, the court of Terrason. Oh my God. Oh, I just love that. Like overlapping these two worlds, these two book series. Oh, and there's a quote on the back as well. And just look, it's just so pretty. You've got like the stag at the top, which is obviously Terrison's like logo of sorts. Um, and yeah, the quote, yeah, the quote is, so they can look up at the sky no matter where they are and know Terrison is forever with them. Sarah J Mass. Oh guys, I love this so much. I mean, I haven't even looked at the rest of the box yet, but this might be my favourite thing. <laughs> I mean, that may be saying a bit too much, but I mean, I do love my tote bags. I have too many, but like, oh, the Sarah J Mass one is such a great size as well. So anyway, let's move on. I'm just going to, I could talk ages about this tote bag. Let's go to the next thing. What is this next thing? Oh, oh, it's another one of these. It's to put your pins and stuff on, which they give you sometimes in this box. So here it is on this camera. I'm not sure if this is actually like themed after a book. Well, of course it is. Everything's always themed after a book. It's got like a lion on the bottom. But uh, yeah, a much simpler one. The one I got months and months ago was a Percy Jackson themed one, but it's very, um, what is the word? I can't think of the word. It's just got very bright pink and purple colors on it. So it's nice just to have a plain black one like this because I do love my bags. <laughs> I'm boring like that. Okay, and then next one. <gasps> oh, this is always a good sign. Usually jewelry. Let's see what it is. <gasps> a pin, there you go. To add to our new pin board thing. So a memory vial pin. There you go, guys. I'll put it close up to the camera. It's very pretty. I do like these pins. And, oh gosh, what is this? Emoji sticky tabs. Oh, nice. I see loads of people on Bookstagram. By the way, go follow me on Bookstagram because I love making new friends and honestly I'm on there all the time. I just waste my day away on there sometimes. And uh, everyone's lovely, so go give me a follow. I will put something on the screen or in the description. You won't regret it, promise. Yeah, so we've got some nice emoji sticky tabs. Um, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, the reason I brought up Instagram is because a lot of people tend to use sticky tabs like these to, you know, go back to certain pages for reviews and stuff so they can get quotes. And that's something I want to start doing because, I don't know, never done it before, never really occurred to me. But now I have the chance. So, there you go. Oh, <gasps> nice. Oh, nice. Another secret book volume. <gasps> Oh, that is pretty. Okay, let's see what is in this one. I do love these. It's such a great idea. Plus, it's handy because I have loads of like random bits and bobs. But I don't know where to put them. And these are the perfect size. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's lovely deep royal purple with like black and this like gold. It's got 
a key on it with like butterfly wings. I'm getting like bitter blue vibes, but I really doubt that's what it is. <laughs> and the usual quotes and images in the actual fake book. Yeah, they're from different authors, so it's not going to give me a clue as to what this is, you know, referencing. But, spoiler card, I'll most likely have something on the screen for you guys so you can know straight away. I was actually needing another one of these, so they just read my mind all the time, Fairy Loop. Is this what I think it is? Is this some tape? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? Oh wow, and it's really, everything's so pretty all the time. This is why I love fairy loot. Yeah, so it's just some really nice tape and I never have any tape and this is just really beautiful tape as well, so even better. Um, there's nothing much on it. It's what looks like a matchstick, a feather and an eye. I have no idea if you guys will be able to see this. I don't think that worked, but you know. You know what's on it. <laughs> okay, and then it only looks like we have the book and the tarot cards left. So we have the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups now. And again, beautiful drawings. Um, I know there are like loads of tarot cards, but surely we must be getting to an end now. I have so many. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not complaining. I do like the tarot cards. They're just really pretty. So there you go, guys. These are the tarot cards. I will put on the screen what characters these are meant to be or what books they're meant to be from. Uh, so you guys know straight away. I will have a look at the spoiler card at the end because I don't want to spoil the book for me. So here we go. We finally got to the book, the last item from this fairy loot box of April 2020. Um, I'm excited to see what is in it. Oh my god. No way. No way. No way. I'm sorry to like freak out. You guys have no idea what it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a beautiful cover as well. Um, I don't know how you say this. Incendiary? Incendiary? Incendiary. I'll be surprised if you haven't heard about this. Um, but it's kind of been around the internet. And um, my actually one of my best friends read it and she said it was really really good and um, she was even gonna loan me a book as well but I mean don't need it now <laughs> sorry for it but thanks for the offer um, oh and this is such a pretty cover as well fairly new editions for their books are always a, like special they always have something different about them of course they're signed and they're hardback they always have that but um, the actual cover is always slightly different I think the original is more orange um, doesn't have this like really pretty red effect and obviously sprayed edges on the pages. I'm not gonna destroy this book by trying and failing to describe the synopsis to you because you know I will just ruin it and make it sound terrible so I will leave a link to like Goodreads in the description below so you guys can check it out if you want to. All I've heard are great things for this book. I'm so excited that I have it. I can't get over this edition, it's so pretty. Ah! <laughs> and in the little bag with the book, they always give you a note from the author as well. And on the other side of the author's note, we've got a nice drawing as well, which kind of gives me like 18th century painting vibes. I'm not sure if this is meant to be the girl from the book that they just gave us or whether it's another series. Um, but another pretty artwork anyway. And last but not least, the bookmark, which is the spoiler card just cut down. They always give us this as well. So there you go guys, this has been Fairy Loot's April 2020 box and they never ever disappoint. I'm really, really happy with April's box from them. And of course I'm really excited for the May one as well. Couldn't like figure out the months in my head then. Um, I'm not sure when that one will come, uh, like I said, also, you know, deliveries and everything is a bit delayed for them, which is completely understandable. Um, I'm just thankful that they're still managing to get this stuff to us, uh, because I do love my fairy loot unboxings. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope it hasn't been too long and that you've got through it, because, you know, that would be great if you did. And I'll love you even more if you give me a thumbs up because that would just make my day and comment down below if there's any of these items that is your favorite or one that you like really really want if you've read the book as well please comment and tell me if you liked it or not because I'm really really curious and yeah if you want to subscribe down below then you can I mean I post irregularly but 
I do love doing this and I really appreciate it again. Yeah guys, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in this world. I love you so much. Bye guys.